So, how's it going today? Good. <laughs> Good. Good. So, we're here today with Diane from Operation Turbo. They're our April nonprofit for the Rolling with Miles Walk and Roll. And uh, you know how we're going to do every other month, we're going to switch out military and pet centric. You are our uh, April nonprofit. So, well, we're very excited to be. And we're excited to have you. Um, Thanks. Can you tell us a little bit about Operation Turbo? Operation Turbo sends boxes of home to deployed military with a focus on those that aren't receiving support. We send everyone we get a request for, but we really try to reach those that um, don't have family or maybe their families can't afford to send things. There's a plethora of reasons why people don't receive mail, um, and that's our job is to fill that slot. Awesome. How many have you guys sent out so far, and when did you guys start Operation Turbo? So Operation Turbo started in 2010. It was supposed to be 350 notes of gratitude for our niece's ship. That's all it was ever supposed to be. Um, it grew from there, and the first four years, my husband and I um, paid for all the shipping. Um, we had a lot of friends and family donate items, and of course, the notes of gratitude. Um, and then we became a nonprofit in 2014. So in 2014, when we became a nonprofit, it just sort of exploded from there. Um, word was spreading about our mission. Um, the quality of our boxes, that's something I can't stress enough, is that it's more about the quality of what goes in our boxes than the number of boxes that go out. And that's something that's very important to me. Yeah, and I see you guys have a lot of them. Um, you do have a lot of people donate. Um, what is, you know, I know that's, you can't really even explain how much that means to you, but talk a little bit about the people that help donate and, you know, what it means to you. We couldn't fulfill our mission if we didn't have our donors. Um, we have people that contribute monetarily, and then we have people that um, donate in-kind items from our wish list on Amazon or from wherever. It doesn't matter where they donate their in-kind items from. Um, the mission wouldn't happen without our contributors. And so, um, yeah, I can't thank them enough that every everything that comes in this um, to us from someone's generosity just fills our hearts. And it's um, I've, I've seen the photos on your your Instagram and your Facebook page, uh, so everyone check that out, Operation Turbo, and uh, we'll put links in the event also. Um, but tell us the response you received from the military members that received the boxes. That's our motivation to keep going. Um, when people have, so for those of you that don't know, when men and women are deployed, they work six to seven days a week. Um, don't get a lot of time off. And so when they take time out of their busy deployment to snap a photo, send us an email, send us a handwritten note of gratitude, when we receive any of those, that is our motivation to keep going because um, it means that much to them on their little free time, then it just helps us to keep going and growing. Um, you know, as a military, retired military member, uh, I deployed six times to the Middle East. And I tell you what, the dining hall gets really old really quick. Um, it's really good the first couple of weeks you're there and then it gets old and some of the best meals we had were the ones that came in care packages from from nonprofits such as Operation Turbo and it had like a random microwave meal in it or you know sometimes even the the PX or the BX wouldn't have deodorant and you're like oh my gosh I got deodorant I'm so happy um, so I know how how much it means when it gets to you um, Approximately how much does each box cost of the goods going in it so people know when they're donating? So to fill a box, we say it the average is $50. Um, the shipping cost varies anywhere from $10 to $15. So between $60 and $65 to complete a box and ship it. 